<laughs> Hello, YouTube. How you doing today? It's the Laughing Elder coming at you on a Monday with what I hope to be some hard-hitting news. It is hard-hitting news. If you want some fake news, go to CNN, NBC, CBS, MSNBC, Fox News, any one of those places. Go to BBC. Uh, go wherever you want to go. Go to Al Jazeera. Uh, you can even go to InfoWars if you want some fake news. You can probably check out um, more frequently Mark Dice if you want a little bit of mixed up news and something skewed in a way that they want you to see it. But if you want some real news, take my advice. Uh, go check out somebody like Vernaculus. Go swing by somebody like the Britisher. Maybe take a little stop by the Hard Bastard. Come by my channel. We'll talk. We'll have a good time. Today we're going to cover a little bit of Trump news. Because you know, it's his first day in office. Uh, week day in office. And, oh, the libtards are coming out. In fact, it's, it's not just libtards. The, the, the press is coming out. And all I can say is... Don't try to take what someone says and make it fit what you want it to be. Um, I would never want anyone to do that with my words. <coughs> In fact, I don't cut out coughs and snorts and snuffles and lip smacks because I want you to see who I am. I, I want to give you not only the real news, but coming from the real me. So everything today is coming off the drudge, and I will have one, two, three, four, five, six links right underneath the description, right before the hard bastard and the Britisher and His Holy Majesty and Tree of Logic, who are my four that I'll always endorse. And if you go in order with it on this list, you'll see that I, it's the order that I cover them in. So the first story is coming out of... And look, as soon as I said that, I'm going I'm to switch around because I almost told you wrong. It's coming out of Associated Press. And Associated Press, um, January 23rd, 1029 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Big red, bold headline. Trump's biggest campaign promises face day one test. Little quotes, day one test. By Josh Bach and Jill Colvin. Josh and Jill, they went up a hill to fetch a pail of water. Uh, and, and, and Jill came down. Uh, and something else about a crown and, you know, jab, whatever, you know. Come on, man. These people went up a hill. I guarantee you. Just pulled a George Bush, didn't I? I'm not nearly as dumb as he is. So this is what it says down here past the byline. And a little, there's a, a video there I encourage you to watch. Washington AP, as candidate, Donald Trump made a slew of day one promises that any president would find daunting. He declared repealing or replacing his predecessor's health care law would be one of his first acts as president. He released an 18-point plan for action that would push forward sweeping uh, ethics reforms and potentially undo scores of regulations. And he promised to fundamentally change the nation's approach to immigration and begin work on an imper <laughs> impermeable wall along the southern border. All of his first day. No, he didn't. I've seen all of them. I challenge anyone to show me where he said he was going to do all these things on day one. He said he was going to start working on all these things. And as far as the impenetrable wall, I say in another one of my videos, I'm not going to ad nauseum. I encourage you to read this article, this AP article, Trump's Biggest Campaign Promises. We're going to go on now. This is CNBC. <clears throat> Load of horse manure, they could call it just as easily. It says, Trump tells business leaders he wants to cut regulations by 70% or, little quotes, maybe more, by Jacob Promick. And this is, again, CNBC. I want to give everybody their proper due here. President Donald Trump told business leaders on Monday he believes that he can cut regulations by 75% or maybe more. I, I'm giving these to you in order for a reason, because I want you to read that article by the Associated Press. Now they say he said he's going to do all these things on day one, and he didn't do them. Well, let's see what he is doing on day one, shall we? He's already getting underway with getting together with these people and saying we are slashing regulations. At the White House with 10 senior executives, he repeated his campaign pledges to roll back corporate rules, arguing that they have gotten out of control. A White House spokesman did not immediately respond to a request to elaborate on which rules Trump will target 
or how the 75% was calculated. Quote, we're going to be cutting regulations massively, but the rules will be just as protective of the people. Unquote. Trump told reporters at the meeting. That included Tesla Motors CEO Elon Musk, Under Armour CEO Kevin Plank. Boy, is an Under Armour everywhere. Again, I'm not going to continue to go on through this, but if he can get Elon Musk and Kevin Plank in a room together and get them to agree on anything, come on, listen, I'm, I'm putting together a satire, a satir, a, I'm putting together some satire on Trump. I, I'm going to be honest, I don't like politicians. He became a politician, but I remember what he said. I'm going to hold him to it. I encourage you also to read the entirety of this CNBC. Now we're going to move on to the Washington Compost pile. This is Power Post. Trump's federal hiring freeze draws immediately immediate fire from union. I say again, Trump's federal hiring freeze draws immediate fire from union. Of course it does. A lot of these jokers are out of a job. My father. The big ogre was in General Motors V8 plant for 38 years. He'll tell you all about unions and what he thinks about them. And right now, he does not have his benefits because they never dreamed that he would live to see 83. But he did. They broke their promise. The unions are horrible. Go watch Steven Crowder. He covers them very well. They've destroyed mission. I'm not. For, I'm so anti-union, I don't want to go draw out about it. So this is by Joe Davidson. He's a columnist. January 23rd, 12.08 p.m. And starting down underneath the video that I also encourage you to watch, it's only a minute and 23 seconds long. Federal labor leaders were ready when President Trump froze government hiring Monday. It was a campaign promise they criticized before the election and did so again shortly after he made good on the pledge. Quote, President Trump's actions will disrupt government programs and services that benefit everyone and actually increase taxpayers' costs by forcing agencies to hire more expensive contractors to do work that civilian government employees are already doing for far less. Citation, please, American Federation of Government Employees, President J. David Cox, Sr. Please citation on that. Please show me well, how much more is it going to cost us, what services are going to be foregone, that this is just dribble, these people dribble. I continue to quote, does David J. Cox, Sr. This hiring freeze will mean longer lines at Social Security office, offices, fewer workplace safety inspections, thank goodness, less oversight of environmental polluters, thank goodness, because they're not, they're being so gentle, they want, they're using these trigger words to scare you. Ask yourself, I, I worked on construction sites, I ran some. That we would do what's called OSHA proofing. <laughs> look into it. Just uh, Google OSHA proofing. I, I bet something will pop up. It's you just make it look good. There are people are doing things that make them less safe to make it appear that they are safe. That's all these government regulations do. And it says and greater risk to our nation's food supply and clean water systems. Listen, with all these things in place, Flint happened. People get poisoned by peanut butter. Chi Chi's restaurant closed down. Somehow they still sell salsa from lettuce from. Uh, workers not white washing their hands after they use the restroom right in the field and don't you know I don't want to go too far with that and all, all the, listen we are in a real world regulations do not help government agencies in the nanny state do not help and I will say again freedom means that you have the right to die if you are a fool moving on again this is our fourth one that we're going to be covering of six I'm going to go through these a little bit quicker you can find this in the New York Daily Grimes. It's the New York Daily Times, the New York Times, excuse me, not Daily, the New York Grimes, New York Times. Trump abandons Trans-Pacific Partnership, Obama's signature trade deal. <laughs> and then you'll notice as you look down that there he is with a pen in his hand and a phone right on his left side. Because he too, sir, has a pen and a phone. Washington. Oh, and this is written by Peter Baker, January 23rd, 2017, Washington. President Trump formally abandoned the Trans-Pacific Partnership on Monday, pulling away from Asia and scraping his predecessor's most significant trade deal. Uh, excuse me, I said that so wrong. Uh, pulling away from Asia and scrapping 
his predecessor's most significant trade deal on his first full weekday in office, administration official, officials said. Mr. Trump sharply criticized the partnership agreement during the, the last year's campaign, called it a bad deal for American workers, although the, the deal had not been approved by Congress. The decision to withdraw the American signature at the start of Mr. Trump's administration is a signal that he plans to follow through on promises and to take a more aggressive stance against foreign competitors. Whew, thank you, Washington Grimes. Even a stop clock is right twice a day. I read the whole article, though. You'll see how they twist tonight. Now we're going to go on to something a little bit cooler. This is Yahoo Tech. Foxconn CEO says investment for display plant in U.S. will exceed seven billion. We used to make televisions here, folks. Believe it or not, let's do it again. England used to make the greatest ships in the world and set them off to sail from Bristol Bay. And listen, we need to be doing it again. Seven billion. Reuters. This is by J.R. Wu. Foxconn, the world's largest contract electronics maker, is considering setting up a display-making plant in the United States in an investment that would exceed $7 billion. Company chairman and chief executive Terry Grew said on Sunday, the plans come after U.S. President Donald Trump pledged to put America first in his inauguration speech on Friday, prompting Grew to, uh, to warn about the rise of of protectionism and a trend for politics to underpin economic development. And then you can read this too. This is some pretty good stuff. They're, they're talking about spending $7 billion, folks. And I'm going to leave you with this one happy one right here. Kroger. Let's go Krogering. I don't really endorse Kroger, but I will say that I do shop there and I do buy their Kroger brand when I don't shop at Meyer, I'll go ahead and say it because they're in Kentucky, they're in Indiana, they're in Michigan, they're all over. But I do shop at Meyer. That's a local store, and they, their Meyer brands cannot be beat. But here we go, back on track. Supermarket chain Kroger to fill 10,000 permanent positions. Supermarket operator Kroger Company said on Monday that it would fill 10,000 positions this year, joining a list of companies that has publicized routine hiring plans as President Trump puts pressure on companies to employ more U.S. workers. Boy, oh boy. I mean, Reuters, could you spin it any more negatively than you have here? Please read this entire thing and see that it's good that 10,000 jobs are being added. It's good that Foxconn is going to, you know, talking about building a display-making plant here that's going to cost seven, put $7 billion into our economy through expenditure of building this plant alone and then give the jobs. Uh, check out that Trump is off the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Um, he is freezing uh, federal hiring. That's frozen stiff and solid. He's, he's, he's doing what he said. He's slashing regulations by 75%. We don't know where that number comes from, to be fair. He blurts out that number just like this guy blurts out that apparently this is going to hurt somebody or not allow them to get some kind of services that they're used to getting. Uh, and... Then, of course, last, the Associated Press's the deal they made about Trump's biggest promises face day one test. I encourage you to read all these. I encourage you to be good to your friends. Be good to your family. Be quick to say you're sorry. Be even quicker to accept an apology, especially when that thing that your loved one has done seems to be so big. Because in a moment you think not, your loved one will depart from you. <laughs> hey, don't forget to sub and like and leave a comment if it don't break your fingers.